In this video, I want to provide an example of how using an improper prior, so a prior that is not a valid probability distribution, can lead to an improper posterior. And the example that we're going to use to illustrate this is pretty simple. We're just going to imagine that we're flipping a coin. And we're going to use the random variable x to describe its outcome. So if it lands tails up, the random variable x is going to be equal to 0. And if it lands heads up, then we're going to get x is equal to 1. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to assume the simplest possible likelihood in this circumstance, which is just a Bernoulli likelihood, which says that the probability that x is equal to k, where k can equal 0 or 1, given a probability of heads theta, is just equal to theta to the power k times 1 minus theta to the power 1 minus k. We're next going to assume a particular prior that was first proposed by Haldane. And this prior on theta has the form p of theta is equal to 1 over theta times 1 minus theta. And that's for theta between 0 and 1. So what does this prior actually look like? Well, we can draw it. Here on our bottom axis we have theta, then we have p of theta on our vertical axis, and drawing this between 0 and 1, what we find here is that if theta is equal to 0, then 1 over theta is infinite, so we have an asymptote at 0 that goes up like that. And then if theta is equal to 1, we also have an asymptote because 1 minus theta is equal to 0 and hence 1 over 1 minus theta is infinite. And then throughout the range, the function decreases to a minimum when theta is equal to a half and then increases again. So it looks like that, this particular type of prior. And obviously, because I've got asymptotes here, it's never actually reaching this line here, it's just reaching it at infinity. So firstly, let's demonstrate that this prior, this prior that was proposed by Haldane, is actually an improper prior. And before I demonstrate that this is an improper prior, I want to just say that I've said that this prior is equal to 1 over theta, 1 minus theta. It turns out that there is no way to normalise this prior that we will see, and hence I can say equals here, but I could equally say proportional to, and it would make no difference to the logic that follows. So now, to illustrate that this is not a valid probability distribution, I'm going to integrate this 1 over theta, 1 minus theta, our prior, with respect to theta, between 0 and 1. So one way to do this particular integral would be to use partial fractions and separate it out into two components that can be separately integrated, but I prefer to use a sort of logical argument, which says that I can rewrite this integral as the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over theta times 1 over 1 minus theta with respect to theta. Then let's examine what this second part of the expression looks like throughout the domain of our function. We know that when theta is 0 that this just becomes 1 because I get 1 over 1 minus 0, but then as I increase theta this denominator here decreases and hence the whole thing increases and hence its minimum value is 1 and its maximum value is actually infinite because when theta is 1 I get 1 over 0 which is infinite. So what does that tell us? Well it tells us that this integral that I've got here has got to always be greater than the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over theta d theta because this second part here is always greater than 1 or I should say greater than or equal to 1, really, because when theta is equal to 0, it's equal to 1. And now I can do this bottom integral pretty easily. This just becomes log of theta, the natural log of theta, between 1 and 0. So that's just log of 1 minus log of 0. But because log of 0 is minus infinity, I actually get out here infinity. So clearly, because this function doesn't integrate to 1, it integrates to infinity, this is not a proper prior distribution. In fact, it is what we call 
an improper prior. Okay, so we've demonstrated now that the prior distribution that we're using, which is just this function here, I've just rewritten it using theta to the power minus one and one minus theta to the power minus one because it's easier to write, is not a valid probability distribution. But is the posterior that follows from using this prior actually a valid probability distribution or not? In other words, in this case, if we put an improper prior into Bayes' rule, do we get out a proper probability distribution? So to do this, we need Bayes' rule. So Bayes' rule will tell us here that the probability distribution theta conditional on x being equal to k is just equal to the likelihood. So that's here the probability that x equals k given theta times p of theta, all divided through by the integral of the probability that x is equal to k given theta times p of theta. But it turns out that in this example we can actually kind of ignore the denominator because it doesn't ultimately affect our result that we obtain. So we can write that the posterior distribution is proportional to the numerator, which in this case is the likelihood, so that's theta, to the power k times 1 minus theta to the power 1 minus k times now theta to the power minus 1, 1 minus theta to the power minus 1. So that's the prior, the second part here. And that just equals, if you do the multiplication, I just get theta to the power k minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power minus k. So all I've done here is I've just collected the same terms on the left and the right hand side. Okay, so this is the functional form of our posterior. Let's now try and work out what the posterior looks like in the event that we flip our coin and we obtain a tails. In other words, x is equal to zero. In this limit, the posterior is now equal to, or k is zero, so I just get theta to the power minus one, and one minus theta to the power zero is just one, so my functional form is just theta to the power minus one in the posterior. So now, let's try and work out if that posterior is a valid probability distribution, well, we already know that it isn't, because if I integrate this, regardless of the fact that I've left out the normalization constant, because in fact, it is impossible to normalize this posterior, as we shall see in a minute. So we integrate p of theta, given that x, I should say here, is equal to zero, is just equal to the integral of theta to the power minus one, d theta, between 0 and 1, which we already know is log of theta evaluated between 1 and 0, which we already know equals infinity. So this posterior functional form is not a valid probability distribution. It is impossible to normalize this posterior such that it has an integral equal to 1. And hence, we conclude that in this case, the posterior is an improper probability distribution. So to summarize, here in the case of flipping a coin and using a Bernoulli likelihood to describe the outcome of that coin flip, when we used this improper prior, which was originally formulized by Haldane, we actually find that the posterior that results is not a valid probability distribution. That's not to say that you will necessarily obtain an invalid probability distribution if you use an improper prior. In this case we have, but you don't necessarily always. However, you always have to be careful when using those distributions for inference because strictly they aren't really probability distributions because you've put things that weren't probability distributions into Bayes' rule, and hence, strictly the thing that comes out doesn't necessarily or shouldn't necessarily be regarded as one. At best, they're regarded as limiting cases when you let prior parameters tend to some particular value. But anyway, in summary, be careful whenever you're using improper priors because the distributions that come out may not be proper.